Hey everyone, it's my first day back after annual leave and it's fucking cold. <laughs> oh. um, first things first, I am on my way to my friends where we store the enclosed trailer. Um, we are helping out one of our friends tomorrow from Umbri Alpine Centre. And we're going to be helping them by delivering the Alpine A110R down to one of their customers in Horsham, I believe. I'll show you a little bit of that when we do it. But first, I need to go and get the trailer. I've already been in and sorted out a couple of bits of admin. And then I've got to go pick up Layla from my mother's and tomorrow back to normal. So Kiara is currently at home. We didn't get back until about six o'clock this morning. Very tired, but things need to be done. So on with it we get. It's Tuesday and it's a busy day already. We've got PPF cutting ready for the Porsche Taycan. Kieran is just cleaning the truck before we head over to, we're going over to Banbury to pick up a Alpine A110R. So as you can see, Kieran's doing the truck. Then he's gonna give the trailer a quick wash and then I'll be on my way. Before that, I have a PT session. So I'm just about to shoot off and go to the gym. Um, and then hopefully you can get the door shut and get some heat in the place because it's freezing. Busy day, but I'll take you with me. We are locked and loaded. The trailer, as you can see behind, is on and we are on our way to the first stop, which is, oh, forget it, Alpine Centre Banbury. We're going to pick Tim and an Alpine A110R up and make our way down to Horsham, I believe. Now, when the trailer's empty, it's very bouncy on this car. Hopefully, at some point, we are looking to change to a Ford Ranger. We're hoping to change to a Ford Ranger, um, purely for how uncomfortable this is. Um, so, if you've got any good contacts, let me know in the description. No, let me know in the comments, if you're used to this, and for any good contacts on commercial Fords. Um, for now, let's go on the way to so let's get on our way to Banbury. So that's the Alpine A110R loaded into the transporter. Now this is actually going to get PPF at another company, but we're just helping out our friends from Alpine Banbury to get it there safely. You can see on this, it's got nice carbon wheels, carbon faces, it's got carbon spoiler and carbon rear window, nice carbon bucket seats as well. What do you think? Can you pay hundred and something thousand for this? Not oh, a beautiful carbon bonnet. Overwheel straps, secured, not touching any panels. Sand, again, overwheel strap, still not touching any panels. Overwheel strap. We're all loaded up from Alpine in Banbury. First thing to do though before we hit the road, got to be a Grex. The Alpine is now delivered. I've just dropped Tim back at Alpine Centre Banbury and I'm now on the way back to the unit. I need to drop off the trailer and then I need to get home. <laughs> it's been a very long day. But I don't know how these videos are coming together at the minute. It's something new, but let me know in the comments what you think, anything that you would change, anything you'd like to see. I want to see more detailing. I would love to get a barn finding. If you know someone that has a car that has been neglected for years and years and years, then do get in touch. It's something we've always wanted to do. We've done a couple of older cars or cars that are slightly neglected, but I mean covered in moss, covered in algae. Uh, if you have a look on our other videos, similar to the Saab video that we did, but let's see what we can get in. If you've got something, give us an email. I'll put the link here. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. If you can make sure you subscribe, drop it a like. Um, that's really going to help me go forward. I am looking to get a few more cameras so that it's not just filmed on my phone. But let's see, let's see how this goes. Today is Tuesday, I think it still is. And uh, tomorrow is a big day. We've got the Taycan PPF to get done. And we also have a M4 in for Trap Pack PPF. And uh, oh, we also have a two Sangyong Sar uh, Saracen pickup trucks in. 
Now you've seen this before if you follow us on Instagram. I think we've done a YouTube video on it as well. If we have, I'll link it here and in the description. The, the customer for this one, they, they love the trucks. We almost looked at getting them. The features on them are fantastic. But we want something with a few more gears. The, this is the, I believe, fourth and fifth truck that we've done for this customer and uh, they're always a pleasure to work on and when they come in it's great. We'll show you that tomorrow, that's going to go out hopefully tomorrow night or Thursday morning and uh, busy busy time. Kiara's got a few appointments tomorrow with uh, midwife, if you didn't know, uh, me and Kiara are expecting our first baby and as well have just got engaged. She, she was silly enough to say yes. The future misses Austin apparently. If she changes her mind or not. It's Wednesday, the Sang Yong is nearly finished. Kieran's just finishing the coating application of Wax Z Ultimate. And it's looking pretty good to be fair. Quite like these trucks as you've probably heard in other videos. But a lot of car for your money. We also have Stan with us helping us out. And we just put his car in charge, not like in the cold weather. And then we have the Porsche Taycan 4S, which is in for full car, PPF. And Layla. There's been a whiny little bitch today. Layla, what are you doing? Don't go under the car. Thank you very much. Come on. This is M3 Toro now complete. We've done a heat exterior wash. After this had the front end PPF'd a while ago. You've probably seen this a few times on our Instagram. But still looking pretty good. It's now Saturday. I haven't managed to film anything for the last three days, but this M4 is now ready to go. It's had Trap Pack PPF, Waxy Z Ultimate Ceramic Coatings. That's just in the bay, ready to be handed over to the customer. Let me show you that now. I think you'll agree this is looking pretty good now. All the wheels have been coated with Waxy Z Heat. The front is wearing the Expel Ultimate Plus. PPF as well as the side skirts and then the rest of the car has been machine polished and ceramic coated with the Wax of Dead Ultimate Ceramic Coating. This colour looks amazing when it's in the sun. We still have the 9 Targa with us, it's not a 911, and the X3 which is just in for an inspection. Just show you what we'll get outside. Here you kill myself. Outside at the minute we have the Sang Yong. Uh, which is in for the ultimate protection package and then we have the amrock which we did the bumper bonnet and tailgate ppf and ceramic coatings just before christmas and that's just in for its inspection and to have some of the uh, chrome bits <coughs> wrapped in satin black as you can see we've got the trailer sat outside whilst we get the handover done and now it's time for a cup of tea very milky Thank you. Thank you. See you in a bit. It's Sunday and I'm at the studio, just about to take this X3 back over to the customer. It's just been in for its inspection. We've given the interior a quick back out. It wasn't overly dirty as he's not been using it that much due to an operation, but these are looking pretty good. Let me flip you around and show you. You might have seen this on our Instagram stories before. This X3 M40D has had full car pan protection film. And I think it looks pretty good in this in this color these bumpers are always a bit more technical than a lot of other cars bm just sort of hate ppf installers this is all cleaned ready to go back like i said there's a little bit of trimming to do but other than that i'm very happy with it let's go on the road and take this back to the customer and i'll catch you on monday tomorrow <laughs> 